Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here again within the Cursed Estate and we actually do have a new arrival for the first time in a long time. We have the Powder Keg. Let's see if we can find that class really quick, shall we? Uh, quickly, let's just unequip these guys so we can reorganize everyone correctly. Um, there you go, sort by level. And let's see if we can found, find our powder keg. I think he was a level 4 when he came in. Here he is here, look. Um, and this is our powder keg named Zwain. And this is a backstory by Friendly Shep. Um, come here and listen close. Listen to my tale of how I came to this darkest dungeon. Y'all seem to be so worried about. Started a few years ago when I was approached by a man in a hooded cloak. He offered me the greatest treasures I desired, but I had to beat him in a good old game of poker. Of course, we both cheated, but he cheated better than I. And I took all of the stuff I had, and, and he took all of the stuff I had on me: my nice and proper pistol, my good gunpowder, and my favourite coat, among other things. Now I didn't care too much about the things in the grand scheme of things, as those were easy to replace. But as the hooded man ran off, he insulted my honour. And you ain't never insult the honour of a white razor. I tracked the man down to here, and I will make him pay. Oof. Very, very nice. This class is very cool, by the way. Uh, there's some really interesting stuff. He is very, very strong. I try I did a bit of testing with him um, in my own personal save file. And he's seemingly pretty good. We've got some interesting stuff here. So we start off with a spear thrust. That's really good. We have the flak shot, which is the back one. Uh, it's going to um, neg negate stun resist, which is really nice. Uh, also going to hit the, the front two. We have this staggering shot, which is going to debuff our own speed, but it's going to be a pretty effective stun. We've got the nail bomb here, which is a really good AoE bleed. I'll definitely put that on. We've got this one here, the visceral attack forward one. It's going to clear stun. It's going to bleed 100% versus stunned. And um, for one point per round, and it's going to do 300% damage versus stunned. We also have his rallying slash, which we'll probably initiate fights with, which is essentially uh, going to be a nice little heal as well as um, an activating repost. And then he has the blood bullets as well. This is pretty interesting. He's going to minus 4 HP and bleed himself with a 90% chance, but he's going to buff all of his ranged skills so you can play him in a few different ways i'm mostly going to be playing him as melee but the ranged way that you can play him is pretty good and as you can see he is a pretty pretty badass looking guy um i really really like this dude so we're definitely going to try this out um He's got a few pretty bad negative quirks, but we're going to try him out, bring him out, and see how it goes. Um, I'm going to check real quick and see if there's any other blueprints we want to use. We've still got five blueprints here, plenty to work with, and I'm sure there's tons of stuff here that we want to go for. So let's check some of them that are maybe quite cheap. Uh, the, gr the granary is really good. The puppet theater is also really nice. Um, we could probably go for that, actually. In fact... Yes, let's go for this now. The, pup the Puppet Theatre. And we'll try and get the Granary as well. Uh, we can do some trading. How much was it for the Granary again? Let's have a little check. The Granary is um, 60 busts. Okay, and we have currently have 20. We can do some trading there to make that even better. Let's have a little look at doing that, shall we? Um, so we need to get up to 60. So we can probably trade some deeds, first of all. Uh, so 20, we can, with our full 49, we can get up to 20 and 30, 32. Let's not use all of them, but let's use, like, let's get up to 20. So that brings us up to 40. There you go. And then we'll also go with some of these, which will bring us up to... So 25. Okay, we can use all of those. We get those, like, crazy. And then we'll go with... Have a look. Some deeds. I don't like trading portraits too much for for uh, for busts, but needs must right now. We need fifteen. There you go. We, we, we have eighty now. Did I go a bit overboard there? I think I did. Whoopsie. Um. Oh well, that's fine. Cool. That'll do us just fine. Happy with that. Now we've got the granary as well. Uh, we're starting to get some good buildings all 
sort of got up. We, we, we can take some of these ones here that affect specific heroes, but I've mainly been taking the ones for now that affect kind of every run uh, as we go ahead with them. Um, because we, we've got other things to use our um, our upgrade points on here and stuff, but nothing that's super major. Most of it's just stuff that's going to reduce costs and things like that, so we don't need to be too involved with those. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's give a, give a go with our new class, our powder keg, and see if we can get something going on with Zwayn here. I think it's going to be pretty interesting to use him. Uh, we, I don't think we have any specific bosses to go for yet. Let's just take a little look. Um, we've got the Necromancer Lord there. We've got Animalistic Shrines, the Swine God. Uh, we've got the Hag Witch. And we have the we don't have any on this one yet. We've still got to level this up once more. So I think we'll go with the ancestral relics in here. Uh, let's get Swain. I mean, he does have he does have some bleed synergy here, so maybe he maybe we don't want to go for curve actually. Uh, but the curve is currently the lowest level. He is still pretty good without the without the uh, nail bomb. We can probably put that on instead. Um, go for the stun. So we want to be starting him out in the back line, I think, because then we can start off with the rallying slash immediately. I think that's going to be the best way to open up here. Uh, so we need to think of a group that works well with that. Let's have a little look-see, shall we? Um, Blight, of course, is really good in the curve here. We have the thing from the stars as well, so we want, we want someone that can dish out a good amount of uh, damage or pierce. So I think we'll go with Kuro here, mainly because Kuro is going to go really nicely with our visceral attack here. Uh, it's going to clear that stun that he's going to proc on everyone. Got all these stuns here. It's going to proc that on everyone and finish people up quite nicely. Uh, let's have a look. So we definitely want someone that's got some sort of uh, piercing, really. Uh, piercing isn't super common. Our piercing isn't exactly something that everyone has, but those that do have it, it is nice. Um, do some of our archers maybe have it? Uh, I, I'm fairly sure that... Not Aurora. Ruby has some armor piercing abilities, doesn't she? Ah, 17% armor piercing. That's not exactly a ton, is it? Hmm, okay. Maybe, maybe not Maybe not her, then. Uh, we could also go the other route of building up Blight and Bleed on him, but we've been doing a lot of Blight and Bleed builds recently, so I don't feel like that's entirely necessary. Uh, let's have a look at some of our lower-level healers that we haven't been paying as much attention to recently. I feel Alexander's going to be pretty good here, because he's got that uh, AoE heal with the um, Stress Relief. Uh, along with that disease resist, which is really nice in the curve. And he's got this blight attack here. Um, pull three blight. Buff target with extra damage. Minus pro. That's an interesting concept. Um, yeah. Buffing a target's damage by 45% is an interesting concept, but I don't know if it's the best idea. Uh... It's a big stress heal, but a huge debuff to speed, accuracy, and dodge. Yeah, we won't go with Tranquilizer. I think we'll just stick with what he's got on here. Uh, bring him as our main healer. Then we need someone else. We need to make sure as well. Can he do this from... Yeah, he can do that from back two. You can do these from... Middle two. That's fine. That works out. What's your speed, actually? Ten. That's great. Okay. He's going to be acting first, which is very useful for us. Then we need one more person that's got some nice armor-piercing abilities. Uh... Anything here? We got this armor piercing, armor breaking shot here. Ooh. Okay, I think Linus might be the perfect candidate here. Um, because Linus is going to be able to proc this. Let's just go through his skills real quick and make sure we've got the best setup for him. So Blunderbuss makes sense. We can take that. Iron Maiden is going to add a block, but it's going to bleed and stun, which we don't really need. Um, bleed and minus 30 blight resist is pretty good. We'll take that. We got this Repost here, which is going to minus his dodge and speed, but it's going to activate Repost. I think that's pretty good. Then we have Stonefall. Yeah, I think we go with the Armor Breaker and try and go for those. In fact, let me just reorganize this a bit. Go that, that, that. 
No, that, that, there you go. Uh, just so they're organized nicely. The one thing I'm a little worried about here is our healing overall isn't too high here. We don't have too much self-heal going on, so I think I'll try and build that into whatever setup we go with here. So let's have a little look at doing that, shall we? Let's start trinketing these guys up. So first of all, let's look at class-specific trinkets. Of course, that one's not going to really make the cut. Don't have any here. Don't have any here. Of course, we don't have any for this guy because he's relatively new. Uh, so, on you, you're going to be our main... <sighs> Are you going to be our main damage dealer? No, you're going to be our main stunner. So, let's let's try and up your stun chance as high as possible, shall we? Uh, let's have a little look at how we best go about doing that. Also, I didn't mention we've now got a set here, Blade of the Moon. These two here work really nicely with each other. So we get 100%, uh, minus 100% damage versus Mirage, plus 8 accuracy, plus 20 chance to um, monsters surprised, minus 20 chance of party surprised. Oh, that's really, really good. Uh, plus 50 touch burn rate if torch is above 25 so the torch is going to go down way quicker and then here we have minus 50 horror duration received minus 10 stress minus 10 maximum hp extra damage against max and if we have both of those on we get extra crit and extra stress when our torch is low so pretty interesting build we can go with there uh but let's let's see what do we want to go with so I actually think having the the pet, the, the Slater Hatchling, even though it belongs to Willow, uh, not Willow, sorry, uh, William, I think bringing the Slater Hatchling along would be very beneficial here. Uh, getting that 25 scouting chance with the armor pierce is pretty nice. So let's give that to... Let's give that to... To you... Yeah, let's give that to you. Minus 10 dodge doesn't matter too much on you. Uh, then I think we're going to go with the slime jar on you. Or, or, I don't know. Should we buff up his stun, his ability to stun things? It's it's a difficult decision to make, really. Uh, what, what general trinkets do we have that increase stun ability? I don't think we really have any specific ones that buff stun, do we? Not that I'm seeing. Must, unless I'm missing them, I don't think we have any ones that specifically deal stun. So let's go with the the slime jar on you, just to keep you topped up. And you do have armor breaking as well, so I think that works in nicely with the armor piercing here. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's quite nice. Then on Linus here, we're going to be dealing the armor piercing. We probably want quite a lot of damage on you, so I think we'll go with the um, legendary bracer for the flat damage increase. And then go with... We can go with the prot and then the, the chance to reduce stress on everyone. Or I think what's probably better is if we go with this here. And grab the um, the, chan the the blight on hit. You, of course, are going to be taking all of the healing. So we grab... Where is it? I've lost it. We grab this here. And we grab... One of these, even though it's not the best, most ideal setup, it is the setup we're going for. Then you, this this one's a bit more difficult. We want to outright go for damage, but I also think that crit works very well on you because your base crit chance is pretty high. So I think we go with a focus ring and then what else do we go with on you? What's the other best way to up your crit without completely nerfing you? I think that's pretty good. It lowers your speed a little bit, but it ups your crit to very high levels. And your base damage goes up quite a lot. I think having you be a pretty good damage dealer is going to be great. And he does have this slight self-heal within his rallying slash there as well, so... Cool. I think that's going to be good. Uh, medium veteran adventure going in and we're going for the moon ring. Or we could go for this one for the um, combustible liquids. I think the moon ring's probably better. Um, yeah, we'll go for this one. And we do have the chance to come across the thing from the stars, which is definitely risky, but I think we can deal with it. I think everyone's going to be fine from their positions that they'll be in uh, as well. So let's go to provision screen. Let's grab all the food. We'll grab five torch. We'll grab five of everything. And then all the torches. And I think we're pretty much good. We'll take some hair of the sea dog as well, just in case. I think we'll only need one, I think. Um, yeah, we'll take some hair of the sea dog just in case. And let's jump on out. 
and see what we can get done. We do indeed have a diary entry here, just the one. This is one written by me, and this is a diary entry written by Mary the Keeper about Leo the Abomination. Mary says, It's been a wonderful few months for me, or at least as wonderful as things can be in this place. I came here around a year ago, feeling like an outcast from every society and shunned by everything, even my own god. But ever since that night some five months ago, I've grown closer to Leo. We first bonded over firelight deep into those ruins about our dark passengers, we called them. The beasts within us was once my biggest shame, but I've since grown to live with my ill-fated alter ego, and it's all thanks to that man. What started as just some simple companionship has blossomed into a loving relationship, and although I'm still yet to see the beast within Leo, I feel as though I know everything about him. But I wish to be even closer with him, and so I've planned a surprise for Leo. Trell and a few of the other adventurers seem pretty handy, and so I gave up some of my personal belongings as payment and had them extend my living quarters and include a master bedroom of sorts and some extra storage space. Even though a lot of adventurers don't really converse with our type, Trell was kind enough to help. And in just a few short days, I'm going to ask Leo to move in with me and pray he says yes. He's a private person, but I think I've cracked that hard exterior shell of his. It does feel odd to be so hopeful and excited for the future in a place like this, but what else can we do but hope? I know one day I'll be called to arms again, but until that day, I'm going to make the most of my time. I'm trying to build up a really good sense of relationship between Leo and, Keep and the Keeper Mary. It's been a while since we've touched base with them, but I think this should help out. Ooh, this is great. Um, you have really bad quirks. I think you're fine. You're mostly fine. Yeah, you're crap. I can't, I can't view this guy. Okay, I'm just gonna do it on this guy. We got rid of predictable. One moment. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, someone delivered a parcel. Right, so we, we got rid of a decent one, but not the best one to get rid of. Chance to refuse healing is a really annoying one. But here's our first battle here. That hurt. Slash. Activate that repose straight away. Stun both of you. Both resisted. Wow. Um, let's go for you. Activate that repose on you. Okay, look, luckily this guy's got prop, but you can take care of that quite easily. Grabbing slash, and we did even miss as well. Not great. Um, I think we just go with a party heal. Buff up that disease resist. Specifically because of that guy there. And you're going down. Nice one. Give them no quarter. Yep, just keep buffing up. Get everyone healed up. Sea spray. Gonna move us back, but that doesn't matter too much. Fortunate dodge again there. Uh, right, stun chances. Pretty good, we'll go for this. Nice stun. And armor breaker on you. Gonna lower your prop nicely. Nice one, Linus. Keep healing everyone up. Right. Take you out. Huge crit. And this is going to do insane damage to you. Wow, it didn't kill you. These things have crazy, crazy health. Sea spray again. Going to mix us all about. Debuff our speed. That's okay. We can deal with it. Finish you. Crit a 26. That's huge. See with Slash. Okay, we're going to need some more focused healing on you. As we start off here. Okay, that's not a great start. We took quite a lot of damage here on um, on our new guy, Swain. But we'll deal with it as it comes. Some uh, scouting here would be lovely. Ooh, we have a, we have a new thing. Yeah, this is not great. Um, this thing has a lot of prot. Let's try and... Oh, you can't be serious missing that. 90% uh, stun resist. Let's do that. Oh, you resisted both. No way. Okay, we're getting really bad with our stuns right now. And, oh god. Stung? I don't know what status effect stung is, but I don't like the sound of it. Okay, crit on the wrong guy there, but that's okay. Okay, let's just keep attacking this thing. That stung does not look good. This is a hard fight. This is a hard fight. 
go for the attack here. We need to kill this thing. Armor break, it resisted that. Everyone's still a bit weak, so just heal up everyone. Engulf. A lot of pro- 100% to Oh my god, that's... This is really bad. This is really bad. Okay. Oh, people are hurting. People are hurting bad. And we can't heal from this position either, so that's real bad. <laughs> I did not select that attack. Thank God he died. Okay. We're, we're out of position here. We're just going to have to go for it. Nice. Okay, nice. Get that crit. Okay, this is bad. <laughs> okay, nice. Wow, we got a lot there. Got some more hair of the sea dog, which is great. Lots of money. Um, we can get rid of those. Bring those along. Do that. That. Oh my god. Can't afford to bring deeds or anything. Um, this is tough. I think deeds are more important than busts, definitely. Eh, we'll do that. We'll do that. Right. Um, let's just eat some food here as we get good healing from food now with the granary. Some nice scouting here. It's going to help out a lot. Let's check for quest objectives. Okay, we've got a quest location here, quest location here. So we've got two straight ahead of us, which is great. 100, 130, of course. Linus always going to be taking the lead on Trap Disarm. Uh, let's reorganize our party again. Everyone's all out of sorts right now. This is great. We'll do this again on uh, Swain here. Slow recovery. Not the best one to get rid of, but it'll work. Right, quest objective here. Let's do this. We'll come back for the quests. We've got two really close to each other here, which is great for us. We're just hoping to get as much scouting as we can right now. Being able to see where our quest objectives are means a lot. Because none of these are quest objectives. Got a fight right here. Another Slater. Stress dealer that's stealthed as well. Try and take out you early. We're going to have to just keep going with the heals here, aren't we? We really need them. Spike trap to activate that repost. Having repost on multiple people is great. Right, stun chance. What stun chance does this actually have? I can't believe this is 110% base and we missed both of them last time. We got one of them then at least and it's on the Slater, which is great because he does some crazy buffs. Nice repost there. No stun. Nice repost there as well. And another nice repost. Okay, that was good. Stress wave coming in. That's okay. You're dead. With a crit as well, destroying the body. Crits destroying the body is so good. We'll go for the stun again here, even though we're not going to get it on the Slater, most likely. It's worth it. Okay, there's that guard coming in. Armor breaker on you. Good damage. Lowers his prop. And then you're pretty much dead next turn, aren't you? With Armor Breaker, yep. Okay, Stress Dealer's the only one left. I think we do this. Oh, no, unfortunate miss there. This is everyone pretty much healed up, though. One more group heal and everyone's up top heals. Stress is luckily actually okay. I was going to say it's a bit out of hand, but it's, it's not, actually. Nice one, Linus. Seize this momentum. I have to leave that. Grab this torch. Use it straight away. Right. We're looking for scouting opportunities without actually having to go to combat rooms. So hopefully we go over here and get another scouting opportunity. Our scouting chances are really high. So we, we have a decent chance. I think they're at like 50% at the moment. 
So we have a decent chance. Sadly, no portraits today. Yes, there you go. This should give us where our next, like our last one is. Quest location, so it's all the way at the bottom. And then we can just work our way back. Sadly, we didn't get a secret room. I'll try and work that in if possible, but it's not always going to work. Fish carcass, we'll use these. Lots of extra stuff. We don't need blood for now. That's good. Hunger check. That's okay. Wow. Do, do we have two people that are lean here? No. For some reason, we can't select our surgeon when we do this. It does just does. There you go. We got him. Mm, I don't know. We must have someone else that's got like less um, hunger needs because we we only lost three food for a full a full uh, meal. In radiance, may we find victory. A fortune. Few extra bits. Right, got another battle coming up here. We're ready for it though. Just spiders, that's actually okay. Um, chance to hit 66. You'll go for it. Ah, oh, unfortunate. Another strike him. Another strike. Linus is. His attack is really good. Never really realized how strong Linus is in terms of his kit. He's not just a great trap disarmer, utility wise. It's a bit of blight on you there, Kira, but you'll be okay. Nice. I love the fact that the effects don't take if you kill them with the repost. There you go. Cleared out quickly and easily. Uh, let's just quickly heal that off of you because there's no point you taking that damage. It's unnecessary. I don't know if there's going to be a fight in here for this. Looks like it's not going to have one. Right. Uh, question is... So let's let's take a look at camping skills. And... Uh, Okay, so we do have a Prevent Nighttime Ambush there. We have a Stress Reliever there as well. In fact, what's this? Okay. Okay, um... Right. Let's get rid of that. That that grab this Such a see if we can proc another uh scouting chance and limb. hope we don't need those bandages and stuff the way is lit the path is clear we require only the strength to follow it Fuck. i was really hoping we wouldn't come across another one of these because i knew i'd be super upset if we did god damn it okay Hope we get another scouting chance here. I'll go and do this fight. Mosquitoes. Okay. We got some blood suckers. Hopefully we'll be okay here. I'm going to set up repost. If, if the repost kills, that's great for us. Okay, that wasn't perfect. Uh, blight resist is pretty high. Bleed is not. Ooh, nice kill. Wasn't expecting that. Nice kill. I'm going to be killing these things before they get to attack, really. Crimson Curse. Okay, Zwain, um, <laughs> Zwain immediately took the curse. So did Linus. Wow. Low chances here, but Linus has it too. Okay, that was, uh, that was a shock. That was surprising. Please don't give it to you as well. But Linus and Zwain got it pretty much straight away there. Nice. Okay. Gets the extra speed, but everything else is unfortunately a negative so far. Shame, really. It is, but... That's the way of the world. It's the way it gotta be right now. I knew he was gonna get it on some more people. It was only a matter of time. But it now means we have a more fleshed out group to bring with us to the Crimson Court, which is nice. I do like that. Um, 
Yeah, I'll go up and do this because I want to do room battles to try and get scouting chances. Whoopsie. How come you're so far back, Linus? There you go. Wasn't expecting to get the curse today, but that's that's what happens. Okay, this battle again. This one was pretty tough the first time round, and I'm a little bit, little bit in the wrong position here, so that's not good. Nice hit. Come on, please stun him this time. It didn't stun him, but it did move him to the front. Oh, you can't... Oh, my God. You can't be missing stuff like that, dude. Okay, we're all out of sorts here. This isn't good. This really isn't good. Thank God you dodged that. Thank God we got an insta-kill there as well. Wow. Right, we're in a bad spot for healing right now. The repose there is going to hurt. Minus 20 dodge. Huge. Sadly, we can't do anything about that. Uh, armor break. We probably want that going on on you. Just remove all of that prop. Yeah, this isn't this isn't great. Thank God we're getting a lot of dodges here. It's helping out a lot. Nice. Nice. This thing's got 10 HP left, so not much more and it'll be dead. In fact, that might do it. No, it's got 1 HP. 1 HP. Okay, luckily that, that attack doesn't really hurt us all too much. Nice kill. Did blight us though. No blight on you. Damn! Didn't manage to kill that body either. Right, let's pull you forward. Damn! They are resilient as hell! God damn. Trying to move front here. Let our surgeon do some healing. We definitely need it. Ow. <laughs> and of course you pull him forward so he can't heal again. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my god, could you stop? Thank god you pulled him back into position. Don't know why I did that. That was terrible. But this is bad. We just got our health drastically lowered for not much reason. All told. This will kill him. Oh no, it didn't. It did stun him as well. Great. Means we can get another round of healing off. Can you do... Yeah, you can do everything from there, can't you? Wait, why can't we move? I oh, can only move back one as this guy. This means we can't do anything here, doesn't it? It means we have to kill him. Past turn. Let our doctor go. There you go. We need two turns with the Doctor, really, before we give this up. There we go. Okay, now I'm happy to leave this combat. And a crit to end it out as well. Great. Got seven shovels. I think we can see it in our soul to do that. Linus to Sam that trap for us. Great. Another fish carcass. Room battle for treasure. It's a little spicy with our current health situation. Let's have a little look. Yeah, we can we can heal up with food. Okay, that granary thing's awesome. Fifteen percent bonus is huge. Another one of these. Wow. Oh, nice crit. That's great. Linus, you're not going to set up the repose this time. We just want to kill that guy. Nice hit. Nice blight. We are going to incarcerate him. Please stun. You, your chances to stun are abysmal, Kuro. He's got a 50% stun resist. You had a 60% chance to stun him. Why can't you hit anything? <laughs> okay, he's guarded at the minute. That's okay. Lower that armor, that prop. It's going to hurt. Yep, thought it was going to hurt. Just keep healing everyone anyways. Can't do anything about the blight either. Just keep up in our blight resist. Wow! Okay, that was huge. That was huge. 33 crit there. Awesome. Okay, that worked out okay. Uh, you got four over two, three over three. Okay, you need it more than anyone. Okay.
rearrange everyone again. Contains loot, nice. Okay, we've got one last chance to scout over here. I might be thinking of this working out wrong. Can't believe we missed so many of them now. That's annoying. That's the most I've ever seen in one in one area. Another misfortune. Oop, hello, what's going on here? He's now craving. We should have taken that blood back there, shouldn't we? I'm guessing your um, Zwayne's going to be craving soon as well, then. Uh, if you take a look, now he's getting um, minus 10 to virtue chance, minus 5% extra on everything else, but he is getting an extra bit of speed. Right, let's... Uh Make sure everyone's eaten up. And then we can go like this. Trade that. Wait a minute. We have medical herbs here. One second. Zwayne, you can get rid of yet another. All oh, yours are terrible. Ah! What the hell? You stress us all out, dude. It's pretty, pretty mean. Right, let's camp. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. Okay, then we'll go... Prevent night time ambush. Minus stress. Minus stress. Minus stress. And that'll do. Don't really care about anything else. Just get everyone's stress level down. And here's the last one. Okay, well that was uh, that was kind of interesting, a, bit, a little bit, a little bit spicier than I was expecting, but we shall return to the hamlet. We got two people that need blood now. So one thing that I need to ask you guys: when people are craving blood, do I need to bring them out on a quest again to feed them blood, or can I feed them blood from the town? And also, as the weeks pass and then and they don't go on missions while they're craving, does anything happen? Can they can they die or become bl bloodthirsty like while they're in town? I don't know. Well, that, that was relatively successful, apart from the fact that we got another two people that are craving blood, but it's par for the course, really, at this point. I knew we were going to get a few, and it's not as if we have tons of people. Let's see who else we've got here. Oh, finally! We have a mender. We have a mender, people. We have been waiting for a mender for a while. Uh, the mender class is awesome. Um, oh, one thing I forgot to do there as well is uh, upgrade some people's armor. If you look here, the the Mender has like heal, heal, heal and cure blight and bleed and stress heal, cure, uh, clear horror, minor stress. Just, oh, so perfect. It's going to be absolutely great bringing the Mender out with us. So if anyone wants to write a backstory for the Mender, please do get on that for next week. That'd be awesome. Uh, let's check out our trinkets that are available here. Um, not really got too much going on here, have we? Not by the looks of it. Uh, anything in... We still, we still got to decide which one of these we want. We didn't buy the, um, the one for our Dark Wraith yet. I'm still kind of thinking maybe we just save up. And uh, then we've got all of these to go through. Let's have a look, see what we got available. Abomination, not really that bothered. That's kind of decent. Okay. Plus 30 virtue chance. Holy hell. Extra melee damage. Extra stun chance. 30 virtue chance. That's crazy. Um, maximum HP and dodge. That's really good. Plague doctor. Bleed chance. Agustin's bleeding. Melee skill. Um, straight up bleed chance. With a 10% damage bonus on top of it. It's pretty good. A buff to antiquarian. That's kind of interesting. On miss... On melee hit, sorry, self clear horror. Okay, that, that could be pretty good. Um, flagellant. We've got that extra death blow and the dodge at death's door. Howieman with a steady buckle. Shieldbreaker one here is pretty interesting as well. Another man at arms one there. 
nothing there that's particularly amazing. I would say that minus 15 stress plus 25 virtue chance is really good. Should we buy that? I think that's probably quite worthwhile, right? For endless harvest. I mean, it's one of those things where it's like, it's just a chance. We won't buy it for now, but we'll come back around to that. Uh, let's just do do some... Um, I was going to say let's do some upgrading, but we don't need to yet. Um, who was just in our party then? I want to make sure they're upgraded. Basically, as we go through people, I want to make sure they're upgraded. So, we used Zwain here, who was upgraded. I think Linus was already upgraded. Let's just check. No, Linus isn't. Okay. Uh... We can come back around to them, though, can't we? We don't have to upgrade them right now. Uh, and I think Linus only just hit level 4 anyway, so that's fine. Okay, that's alright. I'm just making sure that's upgraded. Alexander's looking pretty, pretty weak, to be honest. He's a little far behind everything. We can just mainly upgrade the skills we use with him, so that's fine. Okay. And we'll also upgrade your armor as well. That's free. Nice. Who else did we bring just then? They're all level 4 now, so it's kind of... They kind of got lost. There you go. Upgrade both of them. Hero upgrade. Stun, stun, stun. Wow, you were missing a lot then. We should have upgraded you before coming along. Okay, we'll leave it there. We want to be making as much money as we can from week to week. Um... I was going to do another run here, but I think that run's actually going to end us off there quite nicely, tied that over. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Uh, if you've got any more diary entries or if you want to write for the Mender, do make sure to let me know in the comments or join the Discord and talk about it in there. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.